Andrea Anderson fills out paperwork at Hawksworth Blood Center in Westchester, ready to donate convalescent plasma. Just two months ago, she and her husband Rob were stuck on board a cruise ship in quarantine for weeks. After we'd been home almost two weeks, my husband just got worse and worse. They were almost in the clear. Then on day 13 of quarantine at home in Warren County, Rob could barely breathe. The normally active 70 year old tested negative for COVID, but later would test positive for the antibodies. He has developed AFib and the cardiologist said, looking at the EKG from two years ago and today, I wouldn't say it was the same person. After watching her husband's decline, Andrea wanted to do her part. She found out she too had the antibodies and set up an appointment to donate. Okay. And what I'm going to do is just mark your vein, okay? okay? She's hooked up to a machine that separates red blood cells from platelets and plasma. The only tough part, the stick to get it all started. It was getting the needle started and my vein was not be cooperative today. That, that was the only bad part. The process takes about an hour. Green's good? Green's good. So you're right there on that level, so you're doing awesome. Andrea says she hopes her donation will save a family from future heartache. It's a small way I can help, and if this is going to help even one person recover, one grandmother be able to go back home and see their grandchildren rather than their grandchildren having to bury them, well, this is worth it. This is the first of four plasma donations Andrea has scheduled at Hawksworth. If you'd like to donate, you can find that information on our website, WLWT.com. Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.